everyone. Thanks for dropping by the crafting sessions for Osnacon 2020, hashtag stay home edition. In this video, I will be upcycling some old items with comics. So for this first project, you'll need some comics, a paintbrush, scissors, Mod Podge. The green bottle is for exterior. A clear coat to spray afterwards and the item that you're going to podge. So this is the item that I'm working on today. It's a photo box that I picked up at Value Village for a couple bucks. And I'm removing the lid so I can podge just the outside of the box. I'll be podging just the outer sides and leaving the bottom and inside black. So I've chosen an old Archie comic book to use for this item and I'm just going to cut some random squares until I have about 30 and you can always cut more. onto a plastic lid. I'm just going to be brushing on a layer of podge and then placing the comics on top of the podge and then another layer of podge. to go too far onto the bottom. If I do overlap, I can always trim it off later when it's dried. And I will be letting the box dry between doing each side so that it doesn't stick to the table. can be a little tricky but just keep trying it just practice it and get messy and make mistakes so I'm going to trim off over all the overhanging pieces and just do be very careful when you do this part. <laughs> I've reattached the lid and found a perfect picture of Archie and his friends for the top. And there you go, a completed box. The second item I'm going to podge today is an old chair that I picked up at Katie Market for five bucks. Now I did sand this down very carefully and then I sealed it with a clear coat because I was a little concerned that there may, it may have been lead based paint. For this chair I'm using Calvin and Hobbes comics and I'm going to start with the top of the seat and then do the center back. So you will 
have to mold the paper in some places. You've chosen an item that has some intricate uh, sides on it. But just experiment and have fun with it. So after the podge has completely dried, you have to give it a couple of days, so you can apply the clear coat just to give it another protective layer. Thanks again for dropping by this crafting session. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the words of Miss Frizzle, take chances, make mistakes, and get messy.